Visiting Fraser Island in Queensland, Australia is the perfect choice for any tourist. It's a magnificent mixture of sandy beaches, rainforests, and swamp areas. While the scenery is an absolutely breathtaking experience, the island also features various species of animals to admire as well. When considering to visit Fraser Island for all its hidden gems, it is important to know what time of year is best to make the trip. Certain seasons bring forth different activities and experiences. A seasonal breakdown of Fraser Island. Knowing specific temperatures and climate information of a destination ensures a successfully planned trip. Fraser Island essentially only has two seasons, summer and winter. However, autumn and spring do make their appearances. Due to its proximity to the Tropic of Capricorn, the temperatures stay steady, but the heat does bring humidity. Below is a breakdown of the seasons on the island and the corresponding temperatures. Winter. Tourists coming from the western side of the world will find that winter has a very different meaning on Fraser Island. In fact, it is considered winter on the island during the months of June through August. During these months, the temperature never really dips past 55 or 57 degrees and gets as high as 77 degrees or 13 to 25 Celsius. If these are the average winter temperatures, it can be hard to imagine what summer is like on the island. For tourists, especially those from the western part of the world would greatly enjoy a break from hot summers. Visiting during what is considered the winter on Fraser Island is a breath of fresh air for travelers. Summer. The part of the year that is considered to be summer on Fraser Island are during the months of December through February. The temperatures during this season range from approximately 73 to 86 degrees or 22 to 30 Celsius. While the overall temperature seems okay, the temperatures bring humidity that makes it feel pretty hot. The subtropical weather means hot and humid summers and mild winters, as seen above. The subtropical weather also brings this extreme rainfall, which is why the rainforests are so abundant here. Even with hot, humid, and wet summer days, there are plenty of places to cool off. In fact, the rainforests offer up shade from the sun. There are also countless pools around the island to take a quick dip in. Tourists who don't mind rain can expect more of it during this time. However, if they don't want a total washout on some days, perhaps winter is the perfect time for them. Autumn. Autumn and spring pop up during summer and winter sort of melding into the background sometimes. Autumn more specifically is considered to be from March to May. Some would still consider summer to be carried on through April. The months of March through May do have higher temperatures than winter, however, the rainfall scales back quite a bit. This is what makes this part of the year a bit more comfortable for most. The slowdown on the rainfall is the most distinctive factor when it comes to considering this time of year to be autumn. Much like spring, the average autumn temperature hovers around 72 or 73 degrees or 23 to 24 Celsius. Spring. Spring is short lives on Fraser Island, only coming around from September to November. This season melds its way into summer by rising temperatures, but the humidity mostly stays away. This may be considered a peak time to visit Fraser Island, as there is no rainfall during these months and if there is, it is very little. With such perfect weather, these months do tend to be the most popular. Average temperatures for this time of year is no less than 73 degrees or 24 Celsius. So what is the best time of year to go to Fraser Island? Well, the choice is ultimately up to the traveler. All the seasons offer up a slightly different experience. The most comfortable would be right before summer begins during spring. However, those wanting to experience winter on Fraser Island would find that time of year quite delightful. Autumn on Fraser Island helps trail out the summer heat and gives way to cooler temperatures on the horizon. When someone is considering a trip, they want to think about the overall comfort level of themselves before choosing a specific month. How long to visit Fraser Island? Going on holiday is always a grand time for any visitor. There's the anticipation of where to go and how long to stay there. Fraser Island is no exception. This popular vacation spot has more than enough accommodations for any length of stay. The length of stay basically becomes a personal preference. It is extremely popular to stay for three days. This gives ample time to check out some of the major attractions. However, to fully embark on all there is to see and do on this picturesque island it is recommended to plan for up to a five-day stay. This provides time for rest and relaxation as well as adventuring around all the island has to offer its visitors. Best times to visit for cost effectiveness. The cost of a holiday or vacation can get pretty pricey. Planning a proper budget to maximize the overall experience is critical. With this being said, Fraser Island can rack up quite a bit of money being dished out of the wallet. 
It is crucial to consider budge saving ideas during any time of visit. The average meal on the island, for example, is said to be approximately $50. That can be quite the dent in a vacation budget depending on the length of stay. The three days that are generally recommended tends to help in the case of saving money as the time frame is a smaller window. The use of the campgrounds helps aid in whatever season a tourist decides to visit in. The campgrounds and bungalows offered throughout Fraser Island give freedom to guests to cook their own meals. While the cuisine is exquisite and should be experienced, spending some of the time spent at the island cooking at the accommodations is a great experience as well. Activities on Fraser Island With so many beautiful spots to consider visiting during a stay, choosing the right activity can be overwhelming. However, it doesn't have to be. Below are some of the greatest things to do on Fraser Island. Visit the lakes. One of the biggest attractions on Fraser Island are their lakes. Lake Mackenzie is the most popular. This stunning lake features crystal clear blue waters and soft, bright white sands. Swimming in crystal clear water is a lifetime experience that has to be had. There are so many murky waters around the water that seeing a clean and clear source of water is just amazing. The reasoning behind the clear water sits behind the type of lake it is. Fraser Island has over 40 lakes on it, but there are only three types of lakes that exist. Lake Mackenzie is considered a perched lake because it sits way above the water table. This means it collects mainly rainwater and has no interconnecting waterways into its area. The other types of lakes include barrage and window. A barrage lake forms when moving sand dunes create a blockage to watercourses. Window lakes are the opposite of perched lakes meaning they drop below the water table. No matter the type of lake, Fraser Island provides many beautiful spots to indulge in swimming, sailing, boating, etc. 4x4 driving and 75 mile beach. Recreational driving in Australia is at the top of the list of things to experience while in the country. Australians are absolutely passionate about this activity and experiencing it is truly an exhilarating time. One of the most popular spots to drive a 4x4 vehicle is along Fraser Island's famous 75 mile beach. This area of the island sits along the east coast and is a stretch of sand beach that is considered to be part of the Bruce Highway. While this is a popular spot for all things 4x4, it is critical to know the best times to drive among its sanded roadway. When tides are high, it can create a dangerous situation for riders. Being aware if there's a low tide makes for a completely safe and still exhilarating adventure. Since it is considered a part of the highway, there are cops present for speeders. The drive down 75 mile beach provides some intimate views of the ocean and at sunrise or sunset creates the utmost scenery that is just breathtaking. With all that scenery to soak in, speeding should be the last thing on anyone's mind. Not to mention that Australia is well known for dingoes to be scurrying around, as well as other tourists. There is a way to enjoy the ride and scenery and still be safe. Mahano Shipwreck. This piece of history is a mainstay on Fraser Island and sits near 75 Mile Beach. The ship was originally a luxury liner but was later converted into a hospital for soldiers during World War I. It was initially called the SS Mahano and travelled along the Tasman Sea between New Zealand and Australia. It washed up on the shores of Fraser Island around 1935. The shipwreck is a sight for sore eyes, but human nature is generally attracted to abandoned and interesting things. This shipwreck is no exception as its skeletal frame and rusted parts are photogenic in this own strange way, giving tourists a haunting look at a piece of history. The Pinnacles. Just further up from the shipwreck are magnificent sandhills that look like pyramids tucked among a cliff. These sandhills feature Mother Nature at its best as it has a color tier of soft oranges, dark oranges, yellows and whites. Australia may be one of the most gorgeous countries to visit and its features like this that keep it at the top of any tourists list. The stark colouring and perfected points make this site all the worthwhile of seeing while driving past or driving up close. Wildlife tours and fishing tours. The island is home to various species of wildlife and because of this, there are many wildlife tours to take advantage of. During any of the seasons, there is wildlife to see like birds, turtles, dingoes, etc. The tours offered gives a safe and exciting way to view these wonderful creatures. There are also fishing tours for those who are masters with a fishing rod, or even not so much. These specialized tours give fishermen a chance to catch some exotic fish that they would otherwise not see. Whale watching season. Whales are incredible creatures and Fraser Island offers the best view of them anywhere in the world. The popular Harvey Bay provides prime viewing of humpback whales in its Platypus Bay. These calming waters give the whales ample opportunity to socialize with each other and nurture any new young they have as well. 
The best time for whale watching, or what's considered to be whale watching season, is during the months of August to October. This particular area is where the whales stop during their migration south and become a relaxing stopping point during their journey. While August to October is a popular time for humpback whales, it is common to see whales throughout the entire year. There have been up to 40 whales at once in the bay, creating quite the experience for those wanting to catch sight of a whale. There's just something about the area that attracts the whales and gives them peace of mind to swim, play and relax. Overall, Fraser Island is a great place to visit any time of year, but specific seasons offer up the ultimate lifetime experience. This is especially true for visitors from countries with varying weather conditions who want to experience a more consistent weather pattern.